Hi, I'm Ryan from the Clever Touch education team. Today what we're going to be looking at is the floating pen toolbar that sits on top of any of your Clever Touch screens, the Impact Lux or the Impact Max for education. So the floating pen will sit on top of all your content that you see on screen, whether you're using the Android version of the screen or whether you're connected with an external device. The quickest, easiest way to find the pen, two fingers about an inch apart on the screen and then the pen will come to your fingers. That will mean that wherever the screen is, is uh, or wherever the pen is on your screen, it's nice and quick and easy to be able to put two fingers on your, on your screen and that pen will come to your fingers. When we tap on the pen, it reveals a number of different icons that are available to you. Uh, what we have now with our screen here, the Impact Lux, is the ability to be able to do a long press on any of your icons. And what that will do is it will allow you to actually edit the tools that are available for you on your toolbar. This is a really useful tool and system if your teachers are new to interactive screens or if they're new to the Clever Touch system, you can tailor the tools that are available to them and make sure it's not too overwhelming for them. One thing to note out if you are a previous Clever Touch user is we've now got the introduction of a, a snowflake button. So this one is simply a freeze button. Obviously you've been used to before, been using the magnifying glass, which gives you the freeze function, but it also adds in the zoom, uh, zoom in and out function. The snowflake option will just give you simply a, a freeze functionality without the option to zoom in. But any of these buttons we can simply tap to remove any of the icons that we simply don't want on there and you'll see that they're stored in this little repository section. A quick tour through some of these icons. Halfway up here we have the Clever Touch annotation tool. By tapping on the pen system here, this allows you to annotate over the top of any content you've got on the screen. With the Impact Lux, you have up to 40 point touch on the screen and you can simply erase with the back of your hand. The larger the contact size, the larger the eraser will be. A range of highlighters and pen tools, all editable through the cog function on here. Also from here, really useful teaching tools here in the tools icon at the top. We just have some really useful tools for your classroom on a day-to-day -day basis. The first one that we have here is the little spotlight tool. This allows you to create a spotlight on the screen. At the bottom here, we have a little settings tab where we can change the clarity of that. And then we can use our fingers to drag around the window and we can use our fingers to do a pinch and zoom to highlight necessary content before we close with the X. Also from the tools icon here, again, uh, an egg timer, so and we know in classrooms that time is, uh, is a, a very important feature. So on here we can use our fingers to adjust the time that's available to us and then we can start the timer just by pressing on the start button. Do note in the bottom left hand corner we have the option to turn off the touch, uh, uh, the sound, the bell sound that goes off at the end of your alarm which just can be useful if you've got any children who are affected by sound levels. So as soon as you hit start that timer would then run on the screen. To the right hand side we have an X to close and we also have a four way arrow which allows us to go nice and full screen so it's great for things like getting changed for PE or tidying up the classroom. In the bottom left hand corner the four way arrow allows us to reduce to its normal size. If we tap away from the timer then the timer goes to a mini timer which we can then reposition wherever we need to on screen. One of the nice features about the, um, the Clever Touch on screen timer is that with the floating pen tool we've got the option to freeze our screen using either the magnifying glass or the freeze icon we mentioned earlier and your timer will carry on running. So it's great if you'd like to prepare the next activity with a timed activity on the screen. So there's just some very top tips about the floating pen tool. Uh, if you do need to uh, have any more of those details explained to you, please do get in touch or watch some of our ever other Clever Touch videos which go into a bit more detail. Thanks for watching.